नंबर सिस्टम लेसन वन नेचुरल नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ऑल आर दीज आर ऑल नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स होल नंबर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ऑल आर होल नंबर्स इंटीजर्स इंटीजर्स आर द पॉजिटिव एंड द नेगेटिव काउंटिंग नंबर्स ओके इंक्लूडिंग जीरो माइनस सिक्स माइनस फाइव माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ऑल आर इंटीजर्स ओके नाउ लेट्स सी ऑन अ नंबर लाइन हाउ कैन वी रिप्रेजेंट ऑल दीज थ्री नंबर्स लेट्स दिस इज अ नंबर लाइन ओके सो नेचुरल नंबर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन सो फ्रॉम वन ओके फ्रॉम वन अप टू इन्फिनिटी ऑल आर नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स आर फ्रॉम जीरो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो अप टू इन्फिनिटी ऑल आर होल नंबर्स ओके एंड इंटीजर्स आर a complete number line a complete number line which includes both negative and both positive including zero a complete number line is integer face value and place value of a number okay what is the face value the name suggests face means what the number itself so face value is the number itself and the place value place value means number into the place where it is placed for example for a unit digit number into 1 okay because it is at unit digit at tens number into 10 at hundreds its number into 100 at thousands its number into 1000 and so on so face value with the name you can see it's the number itself and with the place it's the where it is placed now let's see an example okay for example the given number is 684906 okay now you have to calculate the face value and the place value of different numbers the question is suppose that we have to find out the face value of 4 and the place value of 4 so face value face means the number itself so face value of 4 is 4 only and place value is where it is placed so 4 into now it is placed at thousands digit so 1 2 3 so 1 2 and 3 okay the uh, so place value is 4000 now let's see for 8 What is the face value of it? The number itself. That is eight. Place value is eight into the where it is placed. One, two, three, four. So four zeros you can place, and the place value of eight is eighty thousand. Okay. Now let's see the face value of nine. The face value of nine is number itself nine. And its place value is what? Nine, one, two. So two zeros. It is at hundreds place. So two zeros, and place value of nine is nine hundred. Even numbers. Even numbers are divisible by two. Okay. For example, zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Just remember, zero is an even number okay odd numbers odd numbers are not divisible by 2 for example 1 3 5 7 9 all these are odd numbers so let's see an example okay 4 3 6 8 is it a even or odd number okay just check the last digit 0 0 is even or odd it is even Okay, because it is divisible by two, seven, nine, four, three. Just check the last digit. Three, three is odd or even? It's odd, so it is an odd number. Sixty-two, two is even or odd? It is even, so sixty-two is an even number. Seven, one, nine, eight, six, one, one, one is even 
or odd it is odd so 171986 one is odd number prime numbers prime numbers are those number which has only two factors the number itself and one okay lowest prime number is 2 okay one is not a prime number one is not a prime number okay so let's see an example of prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 20 23 all these are prime numbers and so on okay so let's see whether they are prime numbers according to our definition or not okay let's see 2 2 has factors only 2 2 into 1 so it has two factors so it is it is a prime number okay 11 11 has two factors 11 and 1 we cannot make more factors of 11 so it is also a prime number 19 19 also has two factors only 19 and 1 so it is also a prime number okay test for number to be prime or not this is main topic okay so for example we have to check whether 137 is prime or not okay step 1 is just check the nearest larger perfect square to 137 that is p square okay let's say the perfect square is p square okay so largest nearest perfect square to 137 is what 144 which is what it is 12 square right and it is the nearest larger perfect square to 137 now step 2 is to list all prime numbers below p that is you have to list all prime numbers below 12 so list all prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 all these are prime numbers below 12 Now step three is you have to check the divisibility of n with all these prime numbers. If n is not divisible by any of these number, then n is a prime number. Okay, so you have to check one thirty seven because this one thirty seven is the given number. One thirty seven. Check the one thirty seven is divisible by any of this number. Okay, let's check. Is one thirty seven divisible by 2 no it is divisible by 3 no is it divisible by 5 no divisible by 7 no divisible by 11 no okay so clearly 137 is a prime number let's see two more example you have to check whether 319 is prime or not and then we will see whether 811 is prime or not okay let's check for first for 319 okay our first step is what to check the nearest larger perfect square to 319 it's what it is 18 square okay 18 square is the nearest larger perfect square to 319 okay now second step is list all prime numbers below 18 All prime numbers below eighteen are two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, and seventeen. Now, third step is to check divisibility of three one nine with all these numbers. Okay, so let's check three one nine is divisible by two. No, three one nine is divisible by three. No. Five, no. Seven divisible by seven, no. Divisible by eleven, uh, okay. Divisible by eleven, yes. Because just check it. Eleven two is a twenty-two. Thirty-one minus twenty-two is what? Eight nine, okay. And eleven nine is a ninety-nine. It is completely divisible by eleven. so you have got one divisibility so don't check for further because clearly when it is divisible by any of this then the number that is 319 is not a prime number okay so don't check for the further numbers
now let's check for 811 okay first step is what to check the nearest larger perfect square it is 900 that is 30 square it is the nearest larger perfect square now list all the prime numbers below 30 2 3 5 7 11 12 17 19 23 and 29 check the divisibility of number 811 with all these divisible by 2 no 3 no 5 no 7 no 11 no 13 no 17 no 19 no 23 no 29 no so clearly 811 is prime number because it is not divisible by any of the listed prime numbers so 811 is a prime number